Okay, what's going on guys? Your boy Terry by Reacts here and I am back with another Evangelion. And this we are jumping into episode 5. Now, if you guys did not, I don't know if you guys really like last reaction or 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 not really, but you guys some people um some people they let me know that they it's not a lot of people that that's out there that when they react to stuff, they give their honest, honest opinion. Now, because they don't look at certain things like most people, they will they will they will analyze down to the bone of certain things. Some people just take things as entertainment and when they don't get that, they're disappointed. Now, the last episode wasn't the most excited episode in the series because usually by episode five, you're expecting boom, crash, whatever, whatever. You expect things to go boom. Stuff should be happening, right? But I like this anime. Reason being, it's like it's taking its time to tell you a story. Something for you to think about. A lot of this is about, um, in the last episode, how they showed this stuff from a different character's perspective. Like how she feels about another character right um we all know that the main character is shinji like that's no question we know it is but his classmates come in to check on him that was big too you get what i'm saying it's just little stuff like that when you see it because you don't expect it because remember um dude punched him in the face oh it was the punch he punched him in the face I saw it all because um, they found out he was the one that was in the EVA, right? And I think it was his sister that got caught up in the attack, right? And he blamed him, right? So there's a lot of aspects to this. I'm not looking forward to, to big action scenes in this anime. I just want to take it for what it is. Um... And to learn some lessons because there's lessons to learn in this anime. So I'm, that's how I'm going to take it. That's how I'm going to approach it. Um, approach this anime when I'm watching it. I'm looking for things that I can expound on and, 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 and even implement in my own life. Because some of the times you, you look at these things and you're like, is this really possible in real life? Can somebody actually, when you think about your actions... In, in in these situations like there's plenty of times where i've been in situations that i don't want to be in you get what i'm saying but because you feel like you're protecting something you're still in that situation you still get up and put yourself in that situation and then you're asking why am i here i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people to give you guys a a perfectly fine example small example you know or typical i should say is a job People get up and go to jobs every day that they don't want to that they don't want to go. But hey, it's a means to 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 an end, right? You have to pay your rent. You have to do this. You have to do that. So guess what? You gotta go to that job that you don't like, right? You have to, right? So it's that's what I'm saying. Plenty of people in real life, you get these situations that you have to end up in. It could be the fact that you don't want your child to starve. So you have to go and go do this work, even two jobs, right? So that's what I'm saying. These situations, sometimes you got to look at it and be like, man, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're going through. Um, yes, you're not out here in, in giant robots trying to save the world. But you can still take something from it. You know what I mean? And that's how I approach things as an adult. Not as watching this as just pure entertainment. Because some people do do that. And I understand if they, they just want to detach. You get what I'm saying? But I do not like... For me, I just don't like wasting time. So when I do sit down and watch something, even though I'm entertained, I'm taking life lessons from Ippo. From Code Geass, from all, everything that I watch, all of these shows, Game of Thrones. If you watch my Game of Thrones reactions, you see how I analyze that show and draw parallels from the show to real life and and stuff like that. It, it that's just what I do. You understand? Because I don't everything I want 
any information that goes into my brain, I want it to be something useful, something that I can draw from and be like, um, sometimes when I'm in meetings and when I'm talking to people, I use stuff. I, I refer to stuff, even though they might not know about it, or whether it's anime, when I'm talking about um, lessons from Naruto or Code Geass or Game of Thrones or recently um, in um, the Rome reactions, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff that I've seen. I refer to stuff. There's other stuff that I refer to, you know what I'm saying, that I've watched before, you know what I'm saying, that I've learned stuff from, you know, and some of the times people don't know what shows I'm talking about, but I give them the example of the characters, right? So that's just what it is, man, and you just have to see. I'm I'm so glad that I get this is more of a, um. I want to say laid back anime and I like that because now you're a little bit more attentive to what's going on and not just getting hyped for a fight scene. You get what I'm saying? And, and I talk about this all the time when it comes on to the, to certain animes that goes on today. It's all about the action, 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 the action. Where's the action? If you're not getting action, you complain. That's a big complaint that a lot of people have with Bart. And I actually, I actually believe that they're doing a very good job with Barto. Right? I think they're doing a very good job. Um, I actually read the Barto manga, but I haven't watched the anime yet. Right? But a lot of people is like, oh, it's so slow. By now, Naruto was... I'm like, dude, it's two different shows, man. This is about his son, not about him anymore. So take it for what it is. A lot you have... Probably about 90% of the Naruto community, they hate Bardo. And I, I, I don't understand. Like, I think you got to give stories time to develop. I think the author in the manga is doing a very good job. I'm taking it for what it is. Hey, it's not a 90s manga anymore. This thing, this manga started in, in, in the 2010s. You cannot expect it to be the same damn thing. Okay. So, yes, we're in the future. Now we got freaking robots fighting ninjas. And you want more than that? <laughs> you know, let me get out of here, man. Let's go watch this reaction, man. This anime is dope. Um, this anime is definitely dope. Evangelion, man, it was, it, it's great. So I'm waiting to see how um, Shinji's and what's her name? Man? I can never remember her name. It starts with an M. Is it Marceline? <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Eventually, I'll start remembering her name. Uh, if I say it long enough and I say it often enough. Um, I can't remember her name. Honestly, I can't. <laughs> but anyway, let's go watch this reaction, man. I'm That relationship, I'm looking forward to see how it develops um, most definitely. So see you guys. Go ahead, click that link in the description. Let's go watch this reaction, man. I uh, hopefully this um, episode five is gonna be awesome. Looking forward to it. See you for the review, guys. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, we're back here for the review of Evang Evangelion episode five. Okay, so this was a very interesting episode to say the least. Um, kind of getting uh, of, they go again with showing an, another perspective from a different character, helping us to get some character development on some of these characters that you know being introduced but we didn't know anything about. It. So now I know a little bit about Ray. Um. She is super stoic, but she smiles with the dad. Like, what is their relationship? Is it because they're similar as um, the lady says? It's not Misato, the other one. Um, the blonde one. So, is it because they're similar? Why they're able to relate and laugh with each other? If it is, Does she feel an affinity for him because she saved? Because he saved basically saved their life i don't know if that's the case but that was pretty 
now you get into see a different side of his dad which is like dude why aren't you like that with shinji because that's what shinji is wondering like who is this dude like who is this dude smiling talking to another person i've never even seen this dude smile like what's going on here you know what i'm saying he looks confused he looks like he's got that that nut bust face on his face and he saw his dad talking to ray he's like no <laughs> you know what i mean so is um it's crazy that's crazy you know so I, i'm looking forward to seeing how it, th this anime is it's it's complex but it's also very simple you get what i'm saying it makes you think because you're like but this dude never he doesn't show emotion you know what i'm saying so for for shinji and i'm glad that it's shinji that saw that you know what I'm saying? I'm glad we're seeing it through Sinji's eyes, seeing him interact with Ray. What kind of feeling does he have towards Ray? Does he, you know, is it because she's the first one? Um, is that the reason why he felt? But he, I've never seen him run to go rescue Shinji in none of the situation. So it's like, what is the deal here? We want to know. We want to know why he why he doesn't feel like that towards Shinji as he does with Ray. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that about? So, Misato is still nasty. She can't. Um, yeah, I mean, she she's just all over the place. She can't cook. I mean, she makes she make instant ramen taste bad you you know how bad of a cook you have to be to mess up instant ramen <laughs> you have to be absolutely horrible at cooking to mess that up that's like burning hot water <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's like that's like burning hot water man it's it's virtually if you're doing that you don't deserve to be anywhere na near a stove anywhere you know what i'm saying you 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 should even be around fire at at all anything that gets too hot you need to disappear because you have zero control so definitely definitely man it was, was a great episode um not much to digest other than the fact that this um just getting into know ray a little bit better the whole thing him bringing the new car to her and stuff like that like the way how she acted you know that she's just like it's a no i don't care you know what i'm saying your hands on my boob who cares you know what i'm saying you know what i mean um i don't know if there's ever going to be a relationship between between Shin shinji and Ray, hopefully in the future, yes. Um, they seem like they would. She, he could teach her some stuff. Him being so emotional about everything, and she being basically void of emotion. You know what I'm saying? It's match made in heaven. Um, so I'm looking forward to those interactions. She slapped him in the face when he talked bad about the dad. So she has some sort of feelings towards the dad you know not i'm not talking about like love interest or anything it's more like she looks up to him seems like as a father figure that's what i'm thinking so i'm definitely definitely man enjoying this anime another episode down episode six is next man thank you guys for watching as always man it's awesome always to chop it up on here and just give you guys my honest thoughts on this one. I can see why people love this anime already. Five episodes in. I can see why it's such a classic. You know. Not just because of the animation and the oldness of it. But it's a classic. It's something you can always go back and watch. I can already see that. And I'm only five episodes in. So I'm I'm glad that you know. I, got, I get a chance to actually see animes like this. That is not all jumpy jumpy and fighty fighty you know what i'm saying so i'm definitely loving it so thank you guys for watching as always man remember if it's your first time watching one of my reactions make sure you hit 
that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know, or go ahead, click the link in the description, join the Discord channel so you know when these videos are out. If YouTube decides not to notify you, you will know if you join the Discord server, okay? Link is down in the description. You have not watched the reaction yet? Link is down in the description, okay? Go ahead, get over to the Google Drive and watch that reaction, okay? Thank you guys for watching as always, man. Remember to also like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys once again. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and peace.